Sit. <laughs> He's like waiting for it now. <laughs> Put it down. No. I need that back. You want this? Come here. Bring it back. Bring it back. Are right, you ready? Here we go. Where is it? Go get it. Go get it. See, he's fake stupid sometimes. Yeah. He just pretends like he's stupid. He's not really. <laughs> Bring it back. Come here. Come here. He's like, this is mine now. <laughs> I just got this in the mail. It is the Aragon coloring book from Christopher Paolini and he is actually going to visit San Diego on I think the 10th of May. So in like literally a couple of days. And I'm super excited because I've been reading his book since like, gosh, I must have been in fifth grade. I'm pretty, no. No, a little bit later than that, but um, like a long time ago, like I was like probably 11 or 12 years old, loved his books, and I've been trying to like meet him since then, so the fact that he's coming to San Diego, it's like free too, you don't even have to pay for anything, you just go to like this bookstore, he's going to be there signing books, and it's going to be awesome, and I think that I'm probably going to freeze up and be like, can you sign my book? And then he'll sign it and I'll be like, thank you, I love you. And then I'm going to go. And it's probably going to be the extent of the, of the conversation. But whatever. Um, I'm pretty excited anyways. I'm not even good at coloring. But I just had to have this. I may or may not bring you guys along with me on that day. Do any of you like Christopher Paolini? A.K.A. like obviously his books. Um, none of you probably like the author as much as I do, but do you like his books? Do you like Aragon? Do you like The Inheritance Cycle? I'm kind of excited for his new book coming out too. It's a sci-fi book. He just finished the draft yesterday. So that's kind of cool. Girl, I'm not coloring this. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. If you're wondering why my hair is so weird. So this hair, it was in like a, a half ponytail bun last night and then I slept in it and it just ends up like this and I decided I'll keep it because it looks kind of weird and cool so this is my hair today oh no your monkey where's your monkey get your monkey go get your monkey he knows we're leaving how do you know, Buster? How do you know? What is long tail? How does he know we're leaving? We don't even have our shoes on or anything. Where are we going? Where are we going? <laughs> You're going to go out on the patio. Get in there. <clears throat> I love what he does with his, like, with his mouth. Get in there. Oh. You're such a good boy. Oh, you heard me say oh, and then you stopped. Okay, get in there. <laughs> He's like, do you do you want me to not get in there? Oh, look at you. You're such a good boy. So I've already gone to breakfast, and I didn't show any of that. Apologies. I was enjoying it so much, and I went for a walk as well. Um, but now, as you should already know by now, I haven't edited the vlog where I talked about this yet. Um, so as of literally right now, you don't know, but, um, I grabbed this at a renaissance, renaissance fair the other day, like two days ago, and, um, I'm gonna go grab a fountain pen because I can't justify, uh, writing in this book with a regular pen. I've been using pencil, which you can't really erase on these pages because it's like parchment paper, 
like actual parchment paper and um, when you erase pencil on parchment paper it actually kind of um, erases the paper itself so so you like kind of take a little layer of the paper off with the pencil as you erase so it's possible but I don't want to like ruin the paper um, so I'm just gonna make it a rule no erasing in this book unfortunately if I need to if I make a mistake or something I'm either gonna keep it or uh, just cross it out like a normal person and um, I'm gonna go grab a fountain pen I'm pretty sure they have them at like Staples and Office Depot or whatever so I know it's not gonna be like your hella expensive like pen and ink but it, it'll have like the little the ink inside of the pen but and I know they don't work that well but like come on like you gotta use a fountain pen when you're dealing with parchment paper it's just a must I can't find the fountain pens do they even have them oh <gasps> this yes okay I found the ones I'm gonna get I'm gonna get this fountain pen and then these ink cartridges for a refill because these things go like crazy because the ink is so used up that it actually runs out really quickly. This is the result of getting a fountain pen. <laughs> this is what happened. Just ink everywhere. Okay, so when you get a fountain pen, I guess you have to like undo this and then turn the ink cartridge around and like push it down and then squeeze the tube in order for like to get the ink flowing or something. And this is what happened when I did that. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I think I've cleaned up most of it, but yeah, this is like pretty strong. Okay, watch. I'm barely pressing it. Look at this barely doing anything that's crazy but i cleaned it up it's oops got some ink on me not like i don't already have some on there but that's what it's looking like so let's see how this writes Actually writes really well on this parchment paper I'm pretty satisfied with this it's probably one of the cheapest fountain pens you can actually get to because um, I've looked on like Amazon and Etsy.com and these things can get very expensive they can get like in the hundreds of dollar range like I think I saw one for like six hundred dollars and eight hundred dollars and three hundred dollars so 20 bucks, um, I'm all for that, especially because I don't write with these uh, very much, like it's, I'm totally new to it, so may as well um, start with a $20 one. Now I do know of authors who love to write with fountain pens, they like to collect them, kind of like Christopher Paolini for example, he's a total nerd when it comes to writing and he likes his certain notebooks and stuff like that he's he's an interesting guy um but yeah I'm pretty satisfied with this I can't wait to write I'm going to write today this is the start of another poem or blog post or something I just wrote anxiety up here uh I think that's gonna be the next topic I write about by the way if you have not seen it yet I have launched a blog website called culturecures.com. I'll have a link in the description. I've written two poems, poems so far. Um, now I have almost no education in poetry whatsoever other than the type of stuff they make you read in school. Um, even when you're not specializing in it, they just kind of want you to have general education. So my poetry um, skills and knowledge goes back to general education that's all I have so um, when I was writing these poems I didn't even know they were gonna be poems 
I just started writing and that's kind of what just came out so um I just call it a poem because that's what it kind of looks like to me <laughs> but uh yeah so I wrote two of them one is called separation one is called eagerness and if you pay attention at the top it says culture cures and then separation and then eagerness so culture cures separation culture cures eagerness and I'm going to continue that um for however long uh that's just I didn't even plan that just kind of worked out that way <laughs> which is perfect yeah please check it out and let me know what you think you can comment on the website I think um or you can just comment on my youtube or my twitter or whatever you want I don't really care where you comment um because I will see it all whether it's on my website youtube or twitter I will see it all right guys i've just posted a new one here go check it out at culturecures.com and let me know what you think i literally just wrote this since the last clip i wrote this and i wrote this two days ago and this two days ago as well i wrote this in about a minute this one in about a minute and then i don't know how long this took me but maybe a few more minutes than normal but it didn't this one didn't flow as well but that is the nature of anxiety so yep go check it out i can't stop checking my notifications on twitter facebook youtube comments and instagram because ever since i posted those poems i just i don't know i just want to see what people think and um and an, and another part of me doesn't want to know what anyone thinks about it. I just want to like let it let it go, you know, post it, let it go, whatever. Um, it, I think it's just something that happens when you do express yourself. Um, part of you wants that feedback and and wants to see people connecting with you, and then another part is just like afraid, <laughs> and it's just like mm -mm, don't want to know. Um, just gonna let it go. And if people like it, cool. If they ignore it, cool. If they don't like it, cool. Doesn't matter, doesn't make a difference because I expressed myself and that's what it was for. Um, so definitely, definitely. And, it, and another fear that pops up, not, not necessarily a fear, just like a thought that pops up is that when's the next time I'm gonna write something you know um, because I want to continue to do this I want to continue to write on my blog and film videos for you guys and various forms of self-expression and I want to travel and I want to write about that do lots of things create and there's always that thing in your head that's like and in your heart that's like when's the next time I'm gonna create like, I want to do it but right now I'm chilling. I'm chilling for the rest of the day. I'm not going to think about it. And it's going to be good. And I'm just going to go eat some pizza. Kitty. <laughs> yeah. Yeah.